stop, reset, start. Hello again. <laughs> I got a timer going, so you're wondering what that's all about. Because I got to make sure I stay within 15 minutes. Because I know um, I have a 15 minute window. I can do videos up to 15 minutes now on YouTube. If I could get those number of viewers up, I would go from 15 minutes to half an hour. But I don't have control over that. You, the people, are the ones who control that. Idealistically, if any one of my videos went viral, what that would mean is basically over a thousand viewers in less than an hour triggers the viral then the viral goes out goes up and of course you can get several thousand per minute from over the world tune in me get that type of interest that would be interesting this is video number three and I wasted one minute 15 seconds I brought you up just enough a little bit on this end game thing and what's happening. What started it later, the first shot that would be fired. Now remember, I told you 9 11. Everybody calls it 9 11. Not 9 1 1, 9 11. September 11th. Now, a few people in the media made a comment. When the news broke that there was something peculiar about September 11th in 2001. I, it, for me, it was a, a crucial moment because I went from being nothing. A lot of Christian ministers here in Regina really took an unction, didn't think I belonged in ministry. And you know what, to be honest, with my lifestyle and what I've done and the way I acted sometimes, I agree. Even Jews say that as not bait, not of Jewish blood, therefore I don't belong. You know what, realistically, I can't say what my blood is. And I've left out that challenge because of that. Because we can't say what I am. We can't say what I'm not. I'm willing. To submit. To DNA test. The problem is. The Jews want to do it. Want to use my saliva. I have thrown the card out. If you want it. You got to do it through the blood. Who we are. What we are. Regardless of our color, race, creed, what we think we are, there's a group of blacks right now who are claiming to be the true Israelites. To warn you, the Bible says, though, cursed be those that say they're Jews and they're not. I'm thinking by changing it from Jews, which you started out as, is to Israelite, you, you circumvent that scripture. No. God weighs the intent of the heart. And you can play word schematics and a seashell game if you want to. The end is you'll be judged according to your deeds and to your words. And it's my duty to warn you as the current of fate sitting on the Messianic Sanhedrin your leaders have very pointedly said they don't wish to recognize us. I wonder why. Because they're guilty. They're placing themselves underneath our authority would expose that. And, well, they'd have to cease and desist what they're preaching. will be very much exposed as being the frauds that they are. But that's not what this whole thing's about. I'd like you to skip view ahead in time now. To... The opening shot. Masons 
in a very secret society called Skull and Bones, fired the first shot in the destruction of America. On September 11th, 11 years before the planes crashed into the World Trade Center, a Republican president by the name of George Bush in his inaugural address looked at the United States of America and said, Welcome to the New World Order. Now we've had a lot of finger pointing to Carter and Clinton and even to Obama. Listen, bub, it's time you woke up. Realistically, neither one of the two parties, since Reagan, have done anything in your favor. The majority of what has been introduced is for the safety and security of our nations has done nothing, done nothing but strip away our rights and freedoms in response to losing our liberty. We, uh, as people, have allowed it. It's truly said, we are like sheep. We get herded a lot. Not herd, herded. And we go blindly, listening to our leaders. We haven't even noticed in the last few years of election, including the campaign that's running right now, the seashell game that's going on. Even with a man named Donald Trump focuses on the problem of the United States as being the Islamic incursion. There are a lot more problems the United States needs to address. Number one, building a wall is going to cost money. United States, you are bankrupt. With over, way over, a trillion dollar in debt. In one of the people presented, in one of my friends, on friends list, the gentleman said a balanced budget in his first term. Wake up America, he can't do it. You cannot pay a trillion dollars in debt off in four years. Unless, of course, the gentleman expropriates every ounce of property, business, and income from even billionaires, multi-billionaires, sees all their assets, goods, then he might reduce it down considerably, but he could raise a trillion dollars. Doing that would be another question. But he certainly could reduce it down. But you start grabbing money away from Bill Gates or any other the billionaires and multi billionaires, even Donald Trump, and uh, you're going to have a different type of revolution because American capitalism won't go quietly in the night. That's why they're being slowly and surely strangled and choked to death. Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry. We saw middle class being eradicated and that the uh, Rich are getting richer and the poor are getting pushed poorer. There's no halfway given. With the middle class gone, economics staggers. The 
with economic staggering sets the stage for the collapse of the American capitalistic system. And this time it'll be Mr. Putin who will cheer and say, I'm sorry, Ronald Reagan. I'm the better chess player. Check me. While America was looped into this feeling of being safe, Russia has not dismantled one of its nuclear capabilities and kept them up to date, as has China. America has not, and has limited shelf life in each and every one of the missiles. I'm doing three right now. I'll post these three videos up very shortly. Then I'm going to do three more, or as many as necessary. And I hope my friends who see this video won't just look at it. But share it on all Christian Messianic sites. They are very important. It's a call to wake up. A call to repent. And very prophetic. It's what's about to happen. And it already is too late. Woke up 2 o'clock in the morning. On this day. And have been up since then. So, I'm tired, but this needs to be said in a very clear, precise, first time recorded address to us in Canada and United States, to every Bible-believing Christian slash Messianic, to wake up and smell the coffee. What's about to hit us is not going to be nice.